ask you this last week when you were tied for the league lead, even though you yeah. can't win it. Right. Now you are outright in the league lead if yeah. you were eligible. Is that, is that a hollow thing, or has it got some meaning? You know, we, we sort of passed by that, that uh, possibility or the hurt of it or, you know, the emotional connection to it. We, we really passed that. Well, I, I think, you know, what I've, you know, we, we've tried to make our our uh, object more of a, you know, where we rank in the national polls, which is always, I've not ever been particularly uh, pointed towards that. What you always said was getting the playoffs and the law come out what it is anyway. Well, it's not going to be the case this year, and I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll go back the other way after this year. <laughs> it's just all we've got. And um, and so we, we left the, you know, the not being able to win the conference thing. We, we really, I think our, our players, though, particularly our seniors, I, I think having an opportunity to uh, go through this league and maybe win it, uh, you know, without the recognition of it, which would be you beat everybody. Oh, they're still playing for to be the champions, even though we won't receive the championship. If you don't, the semantics do. I mean, it is there. Uh, a league game means different than non-league games, and home games mean more than any kind of games. And homecoming games. Now, I'll say this: if somebody was trying to keep a streak of undefeateds going, this is not exactly how you would pick homecoming. Uh, well, they only got one of four choices. Yeah. So I mean, I understand, and I'm okay with it. I'm just. This is the toughest game we'll have in this stadium, the toughest team we'll have in this stadium, at least as we see it right now. And that's no disrespect to Eastern Kentucky. I actually don't know a whole lot about Eastern Kentucky at this point. Is, uh, with the off week, you get Lindley back this week? I expect to. I think he's seeing the doctor early this week, and if he can get out of that cast so we don't worry about handling the ball, we should get him back. And, and, and he'll make a he'll make an, a contribution. And that was back. the second part of that. What's his presence bring to the uh, dynamics of your run by committee? Yeah, well, it adds one more person to the committee, but usually, you know, you have too many choices, sometimes you sort of lose your direction. Uh, I don't know how we're going to play it, to be honest with you. Yeah, Jameson Plan on getting Jameson Wiley back. I think that I think that's everybody. And honestly, <clears throat> last week we would have had a game time decision on a couple of players. So we were very fortunate in the timing of I mean, a couple of starting players. So there was a, there was a, a degree of fortunate timing in the you know in, in the open week. But we're you know there won't be any excuses about. Anything other than we had our chance. This is the time. Uh, what we do is who we are. If we don't do it, that's who we are. If we do do it, that's who we are. What we do is who we are. But I'm, you know, I'm excited to have this game at home, and for this team to have the opportunity to to uh, be challenged to to meet this challenge. I'd barely do. I'm very uh, happy that he's, uh, you know, uh, in a position he's in with with a, a Peyton Award. Uh, you know, it's sort of you know, you, this is a team sport. It's not an individual sport, but you want individuals uh, to get the recognition they deserve. I think he deserves this recognition, and I think he's. Uh, He's certainly capable of winning it. So I don't know the dynamics of the politics of it, but he's certainly capable of winning it. It's and not you, just a it's not just a name in the pot. Have you looked at especially last week when you guys didn't plot and didn't look at one of them. No, you know, I mean, the just other to people. see who the other guys are. Uh, I, I know I Imani. I know Imani's in there, and Imani is a great player. Um, so that's the only that's probably the only name I'd recognize if I looked at it. To be honest with you. It would be a, you know, it'd be a big if Ryan were to, you know, over.
become somebody that's won it before of that caliber, but I think he's ever bit capable of it. How important for his, I, I know what you guys are trying to get done is to team. Right, right. How important is it for his, or how important is this second half of the season for his future beyond? I, I think it's critical. I, I think Ryan's, uh, Ryan's talented. You know, it's sort of accepted, you know, his consistency and his accountability. And he's on a track to make a statement there, but he's only halfway to the depot. I mean, he's only halfway to the destination. So uh, consistency measured over, you know, a 10-game stretch can say a whole lot. And I think, it'll, I think it will deliver a considerable message to, to his future. Will the second half of the season be rougher on him than the first half? I think some of the teams we're playing will be, be tougher on him. But I'll say this. He's like one other player I had one time. Greater the challenge. I mean, the capacity to deal with a great challenge is probably, it's probably a good thing for him. Do we know who that other guy is?